All right, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Akakwadash. All right, I want to give double honors to the elders, apostles at GMS, and salutations and blessings to the Akim around the world preaching and teaching the truth. All right, I'm Yakanan, GMS Memphis, and um, just going to do a quick lesson today going into uh, suffering for the kingdom of heaven. All right, and this is uh, Second Ezra 7 and 6, and it reads, There is also another thing, a city is built and is set upon a broad field, and is full of all good things. All right, and that city is a kingdom of heaven. It says, The entrance thereof is narrow, and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on, on the right hand and on the left a deep water. All right, so this is um it's it's gonna be a dangerous path, man. A narrow path as it says. And it's set in a dangerous place. And hey, that we're we're in that dangerous place right now in 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 America, man. You know, the 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 uh, the uh what what does the scriptures call it? Uh uh, slipping my mind. Um, oh, the valley of the shadow of death, right? Because it's 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 death all around us, man. You know that's why uh, it tells you in Habakkuk that uh, the wicked compares about the righteous. You know it's it's wickedness on on all sides because right now you you have what the uh, wicked in rulership, man. Esau Edom. And he's going to uh, continue. The Lord is going to put the spirit on him to continue to, to uh, you know, be more wicked, man, to ramp it up. So this this thing is about to get harder, you know. But hey, at the end of this path, man, is 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 the uh, is the victory, man. It's the kingdom. <clears throat> okay, it says, and only so likely, and one only path between them both even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go through so like it. Let me slow down. It says, so small that there could but one man go there at once. All right, so this, this is not a, 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 a thing where we're going to, you know, go in, join hand in hand with a brother, you know. We're going to... Um, you're going to have to, you know, walk your own path, man. You're going to have to uh, drink your own cup, okay? You you, you have to bear your own burden, uh, bear your own cross, okay? And, um, you know, every man has his measure, but, we, you know, we we are of those uh, elect spirits, so you have about Shema Shai, man, we're going to make it through. The Lord is going to be with us, and we're going to get through. It says, if this city... Now we're giving it to a man for an inheritance. If he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive his inheritance? All right, so you got to go through something, man, <coughs> in order <coughs> to receive that blessing, man. You got to go through something to get there, man, you know? And, hey, it's, it's, it's um, well, let me just get a scripture on it. <clears throat> hey, because it's it's a beautiful thing to suffer for for Yahweh Shah, man, for for righteousness' sake, man. This is uh First Peter three and fourteen. It says, "But and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled." All right. So, hey, we. we we understand, man, what's coming, but through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai, man, we don't have anything to fear, man. All we have to do is, is is continue to do the work, continue to have faith, continue to believe, continue to pray for Yahweh Shema Shai for strength, you know, to keep us strong, keep us built up, and um, you know, this this this. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be a breeze, but Hey, we're we're head and shoulders above the rest of these people, man. Okay, with the knowledge that we have, 
we're 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 uh better prepared for for what the Lord is gonna bring, man. But hey, what does the scripture say in Daniel, man? This is gonna be a time like uh uh matter of fact, let me just get it. Um keep quoting. Daniel twelve and one. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. <coughs> Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Yeah. So Lord willing, we're, we're those uh, spirits that are going to be delivered. Okay? Because hey, it's written that uh, uh, the Lord has an elect, man. And the elect is gonna um, is gonna make it through. This is a uh, First Peter two, and, and nineteen. It says, "For this is thankworthy if a man, for a conscience toward the Most High, endure grief, suffering wrongfully." All right. It says in the NLT. For the Most High is pleased with you when you do what you know is right and patiently endure unfair treatment. All right. So you have to endure, man. You have to deal with things. You know, you have to suffer. You know, like we just read, suffering for righteousness sake, man. You gotta you gotta go through some things, man, in this in this walk, man. All right. Everything is not gonna be peaches and cream, uh, and you just walk right into the kingdom, man. No, you're gonna you're gonna go through it. We we we're gonna go through it, man. All right, but at the end, you have to keep your mind focused on the ultimate goal, which is receiving those blessings, receiving uh, the kingdom, man, everlasting life, <coughs> uh, everlasting glory through Yahweh Shah. It says, "For what glory is, is it if when ye be buffeted for your faults?" Ye shall take take it patiently. But if when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with the most high. Right, so when that pres pressure comes, man, you know, you, you take it patiently, man. Hey, the scripture says, uh, uh, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have, we have sinned against him. Let me get that real quick. I think that's Micah 7. It's a lot. Yep, Micah 7 and 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, because I have sinned against him. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. All right. So, hey, the Lord, he's going <clears> to <throat> bring us forth through the light, man. Lord willing with those those uh, spirits, man. You know, we're, we're going to make it, man. But we have to bear this, this indignation. Matter of fact, let me read it in the uh, NLT. It says, I will be patient as the Lord punishes me. You see? I will be patient, man. And when you go into patience, man, that's, that's suffering, man. All right? It says, for I have sinned against him, but after that, he will take up my case and give me justice for all I have suffered from my enemies. The Lord will bring me into the light and I will see his righteousness. You see? So, hey, man, that said a lot right there, man. That's a beautiful scripture. Let me go back. I think I was at um uh first Peter. Yeah, I think I was at verse twenty. Yeah, we're gonna read twenty one. It says, For even here unto where ye call this is first Peter two and twenty one. For even here unto were ye called because Hamashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should sup that ye should follow his steps. 
Right. So, hey, you, you have to, uh, you know, arm yourselves likewise, man. Come in that same mindset of your how shy. Knowing what <clears throat> we're going to suffer, man. Knowing what we're going to go through. Okay. But it's all for the glory of, of, of uh, your how shy. And it's all for the kingdom, man. All right. Because, hey, we, we were bought with a price, man. We are not our own. All right. So ultimately, man, whatever we go through, man, it's it's it is what it is, man. OK, the Lord is righteous, man, with with everything. Hey, uh, uh, the scripture said uh, our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. So we deserve whatever we get. You know, it's just a blessing to be able to, um, you know, have a chance, man. Lord willing. We 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 have an opportunity right now to to you know be saved, man, to be delivered. The Lord, that's that's mercy from you. How about you, my shot, man? Okay, let's get um, we gonna get ready to close it too. Let's get Colossians, and I'll get a couple more and close it out. <clears throat> Colossians three and one. It says. If ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. Set your affection on things above, not things on the earth. Right, so you got to set your affection on the kingdom of heaven, man. Things above, not things on the earth, man. Not these carnal things that are going to uh, be destroyed, man. All right? So let's get... um. Let's get this in Matthew. This is Matthew 6. And verse 19, it says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right. So we, we your your mind has to be uh uh on things above, man, like in Colossians, man, the kingdom of heaven. That's that's where you need to be focused, man, on laying your treasures, <clears throat> doing these lessons, building up that spiritual bank account, man. So when you need it. In the days and times to come, you can cash in on that mercy, man, from, from the Lord, okay? Because, hey, um, you know, uh, money and finances and, you know, guns and all of those carnal things are not going to help you in the days and times to come, man. All right? Only thing that's going to help you, man, is, is having mercy from, from the uh, most high, from on high. This is Romans. 8 and verse 17 and if children then heirs heirs of the most high and joint heirs with Hamashiach if so be that we suffer with him that we may be also glorified together for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us All right man so we're going to go through sufferings man but it, it, scripture just said it's not worthy to be compared to the glory. So, hey, just just go through it. Take it. You know, in the end, we'll get the victory, man. Through your have a shy, we are the, uh, we are the elect. All right, this last scripture, this is Matthew 19 and 29. And everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands, for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. <clears throat> but many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. And that's it, man. You know, hey, we're the elect, man. Everything we give up, everything we lose, everything we suffer, man. The Lord's going to give us that back a hundredfold, man. And we'll, we'll uh, inherit everlasting life, man, in the kingdom of heaven. So with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson for the elect. Once again, I want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakaq 
to give double honors to the elders, apostles, at GMS, salutation, and bless to the elect. Shalom.